Hello, Sam here, editor of Oracle Time, and today I'm here with a trio of new timepieces from French watchmaking success story, Yemma. But first, a question. What would a Yemma dress watch look like? It's not a question I've personally pondered all that much, given the French brand's reputation for cool tool watches with a military twang, pieces like their legendary Superman or more recent Marine Nationale. Honestly, they're not a watchmaker I'd associate with the pared-back refinement of a dress piece. So it's good to see that with the new Wristmaster collection, they've not got in too hard on the formality, and without a hint of gold in sight. In fact, there's something distinctly tool-esque about the new Wristmasters. First, there's the Adventurer, available with either a retro beige dial or a blue number. There's definitely something rugged about it, despite its vintage-inspired 37mm sizing, a credit to its 60s inspirations. Between the large crown, lozenge case, and chunky leather strap, it feels like an old explorer's watch. The crosshair pattern on the dial is reminiscent of old sector dials, which I personally love, and the raised silver indexes make the whole dial very neo-vintage. Unlike the movement, which is pure modern Yemma, the Yemma Caliber 2000 automatic, in fact. Its 42 hour power reserve is solid for this price point, in-house or no. The fact that it is in-house is pretty damn impressive. All in all, the Wristmaster Adventurer does indeed feel perhaps more like an adventurer's watch than a strict dress piece, the kind of versatile bouncing act that borders both rugged readability and elegance. Of the two pieces in question, I'd always go for the beige. It's dressier, more vintage, and just generally a nicer colour on the wrist than the blue. The Adventurer, however, is just half the story, and in fact the more interesting of the three new Wristmaster models is definitely the Traveller. From the name, I'd have assumed it was pretty much the same watch with a GMT attached, and therefore the Yemma 3000 caliber. I'd have been wrong. Instead, it's Yemma's take on Sports Lux, and it's a handsome one. A lot more modern than the other two, with both 60s and 80s inspirations. The octagonal case owes a lot to the likes of the Octo and the Royal Oak, though overall the looks more along the lines of the Girard Perigo Laureato in its layered approach, and mixes straight edges and curves. On the other hand, the bezel is indented from the inside out like the negative impression of the overseas Maltese crosses. Even the integrated bracelet, a must-have for this kind of watch, is cool, with Space Invader-esque links that smoothly taper. The whole thing alternates brushed and polished surfaces, elevating what would otherwise be a homogenous block of metal into something a lot more nuanced. The dial is the simplest part of the watch, with a handset taken from the Superman 530016 and vintage styled old radium hour markers. It's very explorer and looks a little odd on a sports luxe piece, but it fits better in Yemma's overall tool watch sensibilities. Inside is once again the Yemma 2000, which is pretty even if you can't see it through the stamped case back. Now, while we have gotten hands on with all three models, it's worth noting that these are pre production pieces. The collection is currently raising funds on Kickstarter, a place where Yemma has historically been pretty damn successful. I imagine they'll be just as successful with these. It's worth getting in there early either way for the early bird discount. These aren't expensive pieces at the best of times, with the Adventurer priced at 590 euros and the Traveller at 790, but it does cut those down to 399 and 499 euros respectively, which is too good to pass up. Yemma might call the Wristmasters dress watches, but honestly that's doing them a disservice. They're fantastical rounders, offering incredible value and retro good looks. You can wear them just about anywhere. And the Traveller? It's one of the more interesting sports luxe pieces out there, and given just how many have been released in the last year alone, that's saying something. The fact that it has an in-house movement is the icing on the cake. The price is the fork you need to shove that cake in your face. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let us know in the comments which of Yemma's new Wristmaster designs you prefer, Neo Vintage or Sports Elegant.